Um, the color that I'm going to use is by the Lorac palette. And I'm going to choose this pretty burgundy. I don't want to tilt it too much because I broke one of the colors and I don't want it to spill. But that's the color right there. And it's called Unbridled. Yeah, Unbridled. Um, a nice burgundy color. Always looks pretty with a smoky eye. And I'm just going to dip my brush in. And I'm going to start at the crease. But I'm going to position my brush so that it focuses downward. And I'm going to blend that into the crease. Don't worry about getting it on your lid. It's okay because we're going to put a black on the lid. Okay, so the next step is going to be to be for me to bleh, add the black to my lid. What you want to do so that you can get that intense black look is use a base. So the base that I'm going to use is by um, e.l.f. and it's a gel liner, a cream gel liner. And I'm going to use a flat stiff shader brush. And I'm going to put that on my lid. It's also going to help because it's going to be tacky and help to keep the black shadow that I put on in place. And I'm going to avoid going too far into the crease. I'm going to take um, a black shadow with that same brush that we used to apply the, the cream liner and I'm going to dip that and go ahead and pack that on. The blackest shadow that you have. Remember what I was saying, don't worry about if you skipped places when you're putting on the liner as the base because you're going to pack it on with eyeshadow, the black eyeshadow. All right, so you're going to go back in with the brush that you use to apply that burgundy color. And you're going to put a little bit more into the crease. transition color we're going to use that brush again and just again I'm just going to dip a little bit of that brown and blend that with my colors
Um, just because I really like dramatics, I'm going to dip a little bit into my black and blend out the sides. I'm not going all the way in. I'm really focusing on the outer V. And just bringing it upwards into that burgundy. Careful not to go too far because you don't want to lose that color. Okay. I'm just going to do this just for me. Now I'll go into highlighting um, my brow bone underneath my brow. Um, I like to add a little shimmer to my brow bone underneath again because I like dramatics. I just think it's so much prettier. Um, and I'm going to use this light bronze. And I'm just tapping it into the brow bone area. just tapping that in. A concealer brush and put that underneath my eye area. And then you remember the flat shader brush we used to pack on the black? We're just going to use that same brush and we're going to blend the bottom. Okay. The easiest way that I found to um, add contour is to sink in your cheeks and right there is where you're at the contour stick, okay? And then around because I want to shadow and bring everything inward okay so I'm gonna take my um, brush again another nameless brush but it's by Jessup 
I like to use this one when I'm blending in my contour just because it has a point they can get right into um, my cheek. I'm going to take an angled blush brush and I'm going to go into Anastasia's contour kit in medium to tan. This came courtesy of my big sissy, my big sissy Cammy. Hi Cammy! <laughs> Shut up Rashada, okay! <laughs> so I'm going to take this color here and dip that into my brush and just kind of set the um, contour color Okay, I found it. Because the other one I have was broke and it'll just go everywhere. So, just going to take my brush and dip on the lighter side right there. I like it because it has the, the two sides to it. So, and I just highlight my cheekbone area. Okay guys, I cheated a little bit. I went ahead and applied my falsies and I added a little um, gold to my tear duct. Um, I used um, the Sun Bunny, the bronzer. I just picked up a little bit of the gold color and just tapped that into my tear duct. Again, I really dig dramatics. so. It just wouldn't be me if I didn't do some extra stuff. As far as the lip, um, I used um, Fergie's pencil and outlined my lip. Um, you know what? I'll detail the colors, everything that I used um, in the description box. And so this is the finished look. How do you like it? Do you like yourself? Show me what you did. You can show me privately or you can just post it to my page. Um, I would love to see if you were able to follow along very, um, very closely with me. Um, if there's anything else that you would like to see, please feel free to send me a message and ask me to do so. Um, I hope I did talk enough so that you can follow along to see um, how the look is created. And again, I'll describe everything that I used in the little description box below. I had fun doing this. This was, it was neat. It was different. So, um, I guess this is my full, my first full face tutorial. Yay! Woo! <laughs> so, um... I guess I'll see you guys next time. All right? Kitten kisses. Bye-bye.